Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you about all of the new makeup releases. There are a lot of new products coming out and mainly eyeshadow palettes. There have been a ton of palettes announced. There are definitely some that I'm planning on picking up, a couple of other new products that I'm interested in. So I thought I would sit down and chat with you guys about all of the new makeup releases. I decided to try something new. Today I decided to try a glossy dramatic lip, which I don't know if I've ever tried. Usually when I reach for really bold dramatic colors, I just reach for matte lipsticks because they stay in place really well. So this could end up looking like a disaster as I talk quite a bit in today's video. I don't know if the products I'm wearing are still available. I have a matte liquid lipstick from ColourPop and then a Buxom Gloss. If they are, I'll link them below. But I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun to try something different. So far, so good. I'm just trying to get in like the fall spirit with my makeup. I've really neglected like all of my dramatic lip colors for the past almost two years at this point. So I've been pulling them all out and wearing them. And I feel like they just put me in a really good mood, even if I just wear them for a couple of hours. So anyway, let's jump into it and we'll chat about the new makeup releases. The first thing I wanted to mention is that Ulta Beauty is having their gorgeous hair event. I usually do like a separate sale roundup video, but I don't know if I'll get to do that this month. So I just wanted to mention that this is happening on well it started on October 3rd and it goes through until October 23rd so it's kind of like their 21 days of beauty but specifically for hair products and hair tools so each day there will be new shampoos conditioners styling products and like I said hair tools on sale for 50% off and they have a full list of the products that will be on sale each day so you can scroll through now and see if there's anything that you want to buy maybe your go-to shampoo and conditioner or a hair tool that's been on your wish list and then just mark it on your calendar that's what I typically do that way I'm not tempted to check the website every single day and end up with more than I need. I know Sephora was doing something similar. I don't know if it's still going on. If it is, I'll put a link to Sephora's website as well. So I won't be spending a lot of time talking about holiday sets because I just filmed a video on my favorite holiday sets that are available at Sephora and Ulta. I'll link that video below if you guys want to check it out. I might do a part two because I'm sure other brands will be releasing additional holiday sets throughout the next month or two. But I did want to mention the set that I look forward to most every year and that is the Fenty Glossy Posse set. So this year they did the Fantasy for some four-piece gloss bomb set. It retails for $38. It is available on Sephora's website right now and the Fenty Beauty website. I usually buy this one every year, but I think I'm going to skip over it, and I kind of hope they do an additional set. So this one comes with three mini gloss bombs in new holographic holiday shades plus a full-size gloss bomb cream in a really pretty light pink. The gloss bomb formula is my favorite, but now they have some different options. So they have the original gloss bomb formula, they have the gloss bomb cream, which is more of an opaque finish, and then they also have the gloss bomb heats, which that is the one that I currently love the most, and I've definitely been curious to try out some new shades. I was kind of hoping they were going to do a mini set of the gloss gloss bomb heat shades or even some exclusive shades of that and it's still early so I feel like it could still come but instead of grabbing this set I think I'm going to grab either one or maybe two of the new gloss bomb heats during the upcoming Sephora VIB sale like I said I think I'll be skipping over this one if you love the glossy posse set each year it is available I'll link it in the description box below if you want to check it out but they haven't announced a lot of holiday sets here this year, so I'm sure Fenty's coming out with even more. Urban Decay just released a new collection. This is the Eternals collection, which is based on the upcoming Marvel movie, which actually looks really good. My husband is like Marvel obsessed. It is his favorite thing, so usually I do end up watching most of them. I think they're really good, but this one did catch my eye. I think I even saw... The trailer before he did which I feel like that is an accomplishment for me but anyway Urban Decay did partner with them to create a makeup collection it's a limited edition collection that's now available online at Sephora and Ulta and then you can also get it in Ulta Beauty stores I actually just received this in the mail as PR so let me know if you want a full review on it if not I might just touch on it in like a speed review style video but if you want to see like multiple looks with the palette let me know I mean the palette retails for $65 so it's pretty pricey but it is one of those old school Urban Decay palettes that has like a pop out. So I would say it's more of a collector's piece if you are still into that. They used to do these palettes all the time and I know people really enjoyed them. I'll test it out either way and let you guys know what I think about the quality. But for $65, I don't know that it's going to be worth adding to your collection unless you are a big Marvel fan and you love the packaging because you probably do have other similar shades in your collection. But they also did four 24-7 glide on eye pencils for $22 each. There's a purple, a gold, a black, and a blue. And then there are two highlighters for $26 each and four lipsticks for $22 each. I like Urban Decay's quality, but I haven't been the biggest fan of their collaboration collections lately. They just don't feel 
I guess, super inspiring or super interesting to me. It feels like they tend to do the same thing over and over with different packaging. And I think a lot of people feel that way because a lot of their recent collections have gone on sale pretty quickly after their initial launch. If you can wait a few weeks or you know even a few months, you'll probably be able to get this for a pretty significant discount. So what do you guys think of this collection? Are you into it? Do you like that old school packaging that has like the pop out design? Or are you still into like slim, sleek palettes? ColourPop is releasing a new palette. This is called the Play It Jewel palette. It will be available on Thursday, the day this video goes live. And I was kind of surprised to see this one because they just released It's a Mood, which is one of their mega palettes that has a lot of jewel tones in it. I've been raving about that one so much on my channel because it's just like the most ideal fall palette in my mind. So when I saw this one, I thought it was a little bit random because they just released such a good fall palette, but this one does have a lot of gorgeous colors for fall too. I just feel like maybe it's a little bit unnecessary after their other release or they could have combined them somehow and just did one. But I'm kind of curious to see how different these two really are. This one reminds me a lot of the Kathleen Lights palette. I know when It's a Mood came out, a lot of people said that one reminded them of the Kathleen Lights palette, and I didn't see that at first, but I can definitely see the similarities between this one and Kathleen's palette. And I know Kathleen's palette was limited edition, so if you didn't get your hands on it, this could be a good alternative. It looks like a nice release for fall. I'm just surprised to see it so soon after It's a Mood. ColourPop does send me some of their new releases in the mail as PR. They don't send everything, so typically I do purchase the products I'm most interested in. If I get it, I can definitely film a comparison video between the three larger palettes I have, but I don't know that I would purchase it for my personal collection just because I'm pretty set with the other two. I have Kathleen's palette, which I don't know. Oh, it's so jaded. The name was escaping me. I have so jaded and it's a mood, so I feel like I'm pretty much covered in this department, but... I, I do think it's pretty, just a little unnecessary. Along with that palette, they also released the Party Proof Eye Primer, which comes in a couple of different shades. I do plan on trying this, just to see if it works well. Next time I place an order, I'll definitely grab it. I'm kind of surprised they haven't done this yet, but now that it's out, I'll try it out. I love trying new eye primers and just looking for really good, affordable options. Honestly, a lot of eye primers perform well these days, so I don't think I necessarily need to have it, but I am curious to try it. I always like these staple products. ColourPop also released a really pretty collection for fall called Orchid You Not. I think the colors are really nice, maybe somewhat similar to It's My Pleasure or Why Not, or I guess like some combination of the two. Those are two of my favorite palettes from them. But the palette in this collection is $14. There are also three lippy sticks for $7 each, two blushes for $10 each, and then three color sticks, which are just those cream eye creams eye crayons for $6 each. And then also a soul body highlighter for 14. It's a really pretty collection that looks nice for the fall season. If you're not into neutrals, you like something a little bit more colorful. I think I might try some of the lip products just be, no, no, no. I don't need any more dramatic lip colors. Here I am like trying to convince myself to buy some of those. I have a drawer full of dramatic lip colors I've been neglecting. So you know what? I'm going to skip over this collection it's really pretty. I just, I don't need it because I know I have something similar in my collection. I need to do like a fall lipstick shop my stash video where I, you know, pull out all of my favorite dramatic lip colors and I wear them and I'll film myself using them and then maybe narrow my collection down and take out formulas I no longer like because at this point, I don't even know my lipstick collection as well as I used to. Like there are certain parts of my collection like Oh, I know I have these blushes, I know I have these palettes, but with my lipsticks, every time I go in there, I forgot that I had all of these different formulas. Okay, so Glam Light has a new collection that looks amazing. I've been wanting to try Glam Light for a while. I thought about buying their collab palette with Michaela, but I'm pretty sure it sold out so fast, and I just checked the other day, and it wasn't back in stock. So... At some point, I still might try that, but in the meantime, I think I might try one of these palettes. They released four different eyeshadow palettes, Dirty Martini, which is an amazing green palette, Wine, which is purple themed, Chocolate Martini, which is neutral, and then Margarita, which is really colorful and fun. They also did lip products, two highlighters, but the palettes are so gorgeous. The photos are amazing. I love the color stories. So they're $35 each. Whenever I see these online, I can't decide which one I want. I think I'm most drawn to... Dirty Martini, which is the green one, and Wine, which is the purpley one. The colors just look so intense and vibrant, and I've just heard really good things about the Glam Light formula. They used to do those, like, food-themed palettes, like they had the burger palette, the pizza palette, so that's why I never really tried anything from them, because I just wasn't into the super large packaging. But lately, they've been releasing palettes that look more like 
regular palettes with amazing color stories and fun themes. So I think I will order the Dirty Martini one. That one looks so fun. Let's talk about a few new releases as Sephora and then I'll go back to palettes. Tower 28 just released a new product called the Sunny Days SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen Foundation. It's a two-in-one fragrance-free mineral sunscreen foundation with SPF 30. Oh, it's not out yet. It's available online on October 12th and then in stores on October 15th, but it has a light to medium buildable coverage, a natural finish that's safe for sensitive or problem skin. So I'm not usually into light coverage products because I would rather just skip it and just stick with no foundation or go in with a foundation that has a little bit more coverage. But this does appeal to me because it's not a regular tinted moisturizer. It's a tinted sunscreen. And there are definitely days where I'll just wear sunscreen and skip foundation. Especially if we are going to the park or just sitting outside or going for a walk. I've been so good at applying sunscreen pretty much every day. I won't say I've been perfect at it, but I do feel like there are times where it would be nice to have just a tinted sunscreen with a little bit of coverage because I do feel like that would come in handy. So I think I might try this. It's not something I would wear every day because if I'm wearing makeup, I would just go in with my regular sunscreen and then foundation, but it's something that I think could come in handy. So I'm going to add this to my loves list, maybe pick it up during the Sephora VIB sale. Huda Beauty just released two new products. The first one is the Glowish Luminous Pressed Powder Foundation, which is a smoothing and blurring luminous pressed powder that gives you coverage without the cake with a buildable lightweight formula. The smoothing and blurring part sounds really nice. I don't know about the luminous part. Okay, so I'm on Sephora's website looking at the promo photos and it looks like all of the models, like their skin definitely has this luminous glow, which looks pretty, but because of that, I don't think that's a powder for me. I don't want luminosity when I apply a powder. I want like a super matte finish because my oily skin will end up looking luminous on its own within a few minutes or an hour. So I don't think this is the powder for me. If you like a lightweight powder that's not too mattifying, you might like this. I think people who have dry skin could definitely enjoy something like this, but because of the promo photos and the description, I think I'll skip over that. That being said, there is another Huda Beauty product I definitely want to try. This is the new Glowish Cheeky Vegan Blush Powder. It's available now for $21. So there are four shades. It's described as a velvety powder blush with a marbled formula. That definitely sounds like my kind of formula. I love a good glowy blush, especially a good powder blush that gives you that natural luminosity, which I feel like is a little bit more rare these days because everyone is doing cream blushes. So I do plan on picking one of these up, probably the lighter peachy shade. I think that would be so pretty for everyday wear. Makeup by Mario just launched lipsticks. These are the Ultra Suede Lipsticks. They retail for $24. The formula is described as a next-gen weightless matte lipstick that is super comfortable with a soft suede-like feel and a soft focus finish. They sound nice. There's actually a good range of nudes, pinks, berries. There are 20 different shades. I actually read online that Mario named these shades after his team, which I thought was really, really cool. So I like that. I, I think I would like to try one of these. I'm not sure which shade. I mean, pretty much everything that I try from this brand performs really well. So whenever he releases something new, I automatically add it to my loves list to try at some point. So eventually I probably will end up trying them. I'm not in a big hurry to try them because like I said, I have a lot of lipsticks I haven't used in a while, but I do think they sound nice. Okay, let's go back to palettes. So Jaclyn Hill actually has another Morphe collab, which I was kind of surprised to see, especially because now she has her own brand and I don't think she's done eyeshadow palettes yet. A few months ago, she was releasing a lot of new products, but I don't think we've seen any palettes from her yet. But this is the Divine Neutral Divine Neutrals palette retails for $18. I think it's pretty. I mean, it's definitely what a lot of people would consider to be a staple eyeshadow palette. Whenever there is a neutral eyeshadow palette release, I feel like the comments on YouTube and Instagram are just people saying like another neutral palette, but that's what people wear. There's a reason why brands do so many neutral palettes over and over. And as far as the color story on this one goes, I think it's really nice because it's not overly warm toned, which is what we've seen from her in the past. There are just a lot of colors that I think a lot of people would consider to be staple everyday shades. So I don't know. I mean, that's pretty affordable too. I won't be buying it, but I will say that it's pretty. I didn't know it was Jaclyn Hill or Morphe when I saw the initial photos. I just thought it looked like a nice neutral palette. I wonder if she is planning on releasing eyeshadows anytime soon. I don't know. Obviously, like the Jaclyn Hill Morphe collabs must make a lot of money for them to keep going over and over. It just seems a little random that she would do that palette when she hasn't even released any shadows with her own brand. But again, if it's profitable, they'll probably still keep coming out with additional palettes. 
Lunar Beauty had just released a new collection that looks really nice. This is the Moonspell Volume 2 collection. It's available now. The palette retails for $48. It's so pretty. There are a ton of berries and purples. I really like the shades in this palette. I like that he didn't do like a mainly neutral palette with a few pops of berry. Like he definitely committed to this color story and it looks really nice. There's also a liquid lipstick for $18, two lip glosses for $17 each. You can get the Lip Trio for $42 or you can buy the full collection for $80. I've heard nothing but good things about Lunar Beauty, about their eyeshadows, their lip products. I definitely want to try something from the brand. I've wanted to for a while, so I think I will end up grabbing this palette just so I can finally try out the brand. The shadows are really pretty and I'm just really drawn to that color story. I think it's really fun. BH Cosmetics just released a new collection. This is a Halloween themed collection. It's really fun. It's the Poison Shot collection. So there are a couple of different nine pan eyeshadow palettes for $15 each. The palettes are available on Ulta Beauty's website, but it doesn't look like the other products from the collection are available on Ulta's website. So you can get everything else on the BH Cosmetics website. The palettes are definitely monochromatic. There's a pink one, an orange one, and then also a green, blue, and purple one, like three separate ones, and then a cool toned smoky one with a couple of shades in there as well that are a little bit more colorful. They do look nice. If I didn't have almost every ColourPop monochromatic palette, I might end up grabbing one, but I, I pretty much have these palettes from ColourPop. But there's also a couple of other products in the collection. So there are liquid eyeshadows for $9 each, false lashes for $5 each, a highlighter palette for $12 each, lip glosses. I feel like BH Cosmetics has been doing such large collections lately. I feel like every time I turn around there's a new ColourPop collection, BH Cosmetics collection, or Makeup Revolution collection. They've just been like dominating my Instagram feed lately. So I just, I don't love like super large collections because for me I tend to get overwhelmed and then I'll just skip it altogether. But at the same time, it's kind of nice because if you do want to try something from the brand, there are a bunch of different options. Right before this collection, they did release a new collab with Doja Cat, which is inspired by the divine energy of nature, all of its prismatic elements. Again, this is a very, very large collection. There are a ton of products in it, including a pretty large eyeshadow palette, a few eyeshadow quads, liquid liners, brushes, mascara, blush trios, loose highlighters, lip glosses, lip balms. There's just so, so much. I mean, it's kind of nice that they're doing like different options because you know, the blush trios look great and I feel like there is a good variation between them. So it's not like they're just releasing one blush palette. So I can definitely appreciate that. But I don't know, when I see these super large collections, like even when ColourPop does it, I just feel really overwhelmed and I tend to skip it altogether. Anyway, that's everything I wanted to talk about in today's video. I actually feel like maybe this video is a little bit shorter than some of my other purchaser past videos. I tried to narrow it down because there are so many releases. Like I'm on Instagram right now and there are probably like 20 other products I could have talked about, but there's just so much these days. So I wanted to narrow it down, but I hope you guys are doing well and that October is really nice for you, that you're enjoying your fall season. I think that's it for me. So, oh, how'd my lipstick hold up? It actually held up really well. I'm so surprised. It's not on my teeth at all. It is kind of running on this side a little bit, but Otherwise, it stayed in place pretty well. I think I might have to try glossy dark lips a little bit more often. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on Sunday with a new video. Bye.